Hello everyone, so in this video we will be doing object segmentation on images using YOLO V8. So for that you need the image doggo.jpg or whatever the image that you have over there. You can see this is a very famous in image in YOLO. So I'll start by importing uh, or rather installing pip install ultralytics for YOLO V8 ultralytics dash Q. And uh, so this will get our YOLO. And from the next line, I'm going to import YOLO. So I'm going to say from Ultralytics import YOLO capital Y O L O. And we'll also be needing import C C V2 open C V. We'll need NumPy as N P. And lastly, we will need the Google patch for displaying the image. So Google uh, from Google dot collab dot patches import C V2 underscore imshow. Okay. So we have got it till here and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the YOLO model. I'm going to instantiate a model. Okay. So obviously we are going to use YOLO. So if you go to the documentation of YOLO on GitHub, you can see in the segmentation section, there are five, uh, five models. Okay. The first one is nano, which is the smallest. And then the last one is extra large. And as you go down, the size of the model increases, but also the inference, inference time increases. Okay. So I am going to use the medium one as you can see in the middle. I am going to use the medium one. So I am going to write YOLO V8 M dash seg for segmentation dot PT. Okay. So I'll write this much and I'll hit shift and enter. So this is going to download the model. As you can see, it has downloaded the model and now I'll directly predict. Okay. So I'm going to say predict equal to or you can use spread whatever you want. I'm, I'm just using the variable predict. So predict is equals to model or predict. And then I'm going to give the path of our image. So I'm going to give, I'm going to do copy path over here. I'm going to paste it. After that, we need to give two more things over here. One is you are going to say save equal to true. And then you're going to say save txt equal to true. So this will basically save the model or uh, the checkpoints. Uh, and the results this will save the labels okay and i'm going to hit shift and enter so i have hit shift and enter and it will not take a lot of time because we are doing only for one image okay it says that results have been saved to run segment predict so if i go over here and i'm going to run segment predict and you can see doggo so if i open this file you can see over here that the bicycle has a different color of uh, you know the segmentation the dog has kind of a violet and it is also uh, writing the different labels so bicycle dog and at the back you can also see the truck so if you open the labels over here you will see doggo.txt and we will be using it in this video itself okay so the first thing you have to see is there there are three okay there is one then this is a gap there's two and this is three. So there are three things that have been detected. Obviously, one of them is um, the dog, the bicycle and the truck. We will see what each are. And there is also a bug. I feel that I'll be showing you right now that, uh, you know, if it is possible, we will uh, at least I will try to contact the Ultralytics team and get them aware. So the first one is actually uh, the class label. And then you have some other values. These are basically your uh, segment values, which we'll see in the video. And so 16 is the second class and one is third class. Uh, one is for bicycle. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain and rather show you the predict variable. So I'm first going to say what is the type of this. Okay. So let's go down a bit. So the predict variable, which is our results basically over here, it says it has a list of type, a type of uh, list. It's a type of list. So if I say print the length, then I'm getting one. It means this list has only one element. So I have to say zero. Now let's see what is the type of the first element. Okay. So I'll close this for a second over here. So it says some engine and stuff, whatever. Okay. So I'm going to print it directly. So let me just print what, what value is there. So obviously you can see this is a custom output, which means that we need to see what kind of things that we can take. Now I have already done this before. So I know I have to write masks. Okay. So if I write masks, I'll be getting some value. Okay. This again has a different output. So I'm going to say, let's say I want the masks. You saw the doggo, uh, doggo image. So we had got the masks over there. Let's try to take out the masks. So I'm going to say again, masks. 
So two time masks and then I'm going to hit shift and enter. Now you will see something interesting. You see a tensor here. So it means some PyTorch stuff is going on. Let's try to print the shape and then everything will make sense. You see it's 3 comma 480 by 640. This is the doggo's uh, image dimensions 480 cross 3, uh, 640. 3 by because there are 3 objects. It's not RGB okay because uh, it, uh, yeah it's not RGB masks are 1 dimensional only. I mean two dimensional only not three dimensional okay so this is for three image uh, uh, three objects if there were five objects in the image then this would have been five if there are ten this would have been ten okay so what I'm going to do I want to take out the first mask only so I will say of zero so I'm getting now I'll try to give you the or uh, show you the shape this should come 480 by 640 as you can see over here 480 by 640 now what I'm going to do I'm actually going to print the mask okay so for that what I need to do is I need to understand what values are there. So I'm going to say unique to see what values are already there. You can see zero and ones. Okay. So obviously this uh, the, wherever the uh, let, let's for example take the dog wherever the pixel corresponds to dog as you can see in the image it will be uh, one and wherever it is not corresponding to the dog that is on the exterior or on the bicycle on the truck or wherever it is it will be zero. Now in order to convert it into grayscale, I have to multiply it by 255. So what will happen when zero zeros will be multiplied by 255, it will be zero only. But when one will be multiplied by 255, it will become 255. So when you use this and then convert everything to let's say u int 8, which is basically the image format. Now what you have done is you have basically converted it into a grayscale image. And in order to show this, I'm going to write cv2 underscore imshow and hopefully it should give you the okay okay now one thing i did forget is you have to write over here instead of unique you need to write dot numpy okay so dot numpy so this will be converted to as you can see this is the bicycle okay the first one was the bicycle you can see this is the dog over here and that's why it is not you know it's not looking like a proper bicycle but you can see over here the wheel and the seat and this is trying to you know get the front wheel and this is the handle and all the stuff you can see so what happens now if you want to get the second mask so what you have to do you have to go over here and instead of zero you say one and then hit shift and enter so now you can see there is this dog and what happens if you want to see the third you will come over here and you will do three oh, sorry not three two because um, my bad so we have to index it right so we have to write two and once you do this you see the truck has been uh, you know we have got the mask of the truck so this is how you find the segmentation and the mask now you would be you would also get if you want the boundary of this of this uh, to say object and I'm going to show you how you're going to find it okay and then we will see what these objects are using the Coco uh, list that we have seen in the other videos okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write again predict okay and zero and back then we did masks but now instead of writing one more mask I'm going to write segment segments and then I'm going to hit shift and enter let's see what we are going to get out here so we have got something here I don't know I have to see what is the uh, it seems like a list because it's ending with a square bracket so let's see the type okay so I'm going to write over here I'm going to say type and hopefully this should be a list yes list and if it is a list then we can find the length so I'm going to write length and okay there are three of them fine which means for every object there is one so I'm going to take out the first one zero and see what is there so here we have an array so it looks like a numpy array and then there are this what is the shape of this let's try to print the shape it should be n cross 2 so 622 cross 2 okay so what this basically is if I go back and show you so for example let me just take two only so that I can explain it over here so as you can see there are some values okay there are some uh, values in the first column there are some values in the second column what these values are they are basically the boundary of the truck why I'm going to show you why okay so as you can see in this image over here 
obviously this is white and the whole background is black what if we want the boundary so we need to have the pixel values or the pixel locations of this so every location is indexed by or it is referenced by x and y so all these x and y's of the boundary is here but this is in the normalized format which basically means we need to convert it into our um, xy format or rather the normal format so i'm going to say capital h comma capital w which is height and width then i don't want the channels and then i'm going to say cv2.im read and i'm going to pass our doggo image okay so let me close this for a second and now go over here and say con uh, copy path and then i'm going to have this so now okay my bad you have to write here shape happens okay now you have the h and w now we already know h and w 640 and oh sorry uh, this one is different okay fine whatever so what we are going to do over here is basically you need to remember that this is our height and this is our width okay that's why height is here and width is over here fine now what i'm going to do is i'm going to multiply it with the width but what which one obviously we have to take this one we have to take because this is x and this is y so x has to be multiplied by width so i have to first take the x so i'm going to take the x by i'm going to take the x by saying i want all the rows but all the rows but i want only the first column and so we will be having this so if you remember just remember for a second 0 0.64531 0 0.64375 and if i hit shift and enter over here the first list will come the first row will come okay so uh, you remember 0 0.651 0 point this and this now i'm going to multiply it with my width okay now all these will come in unnormalized so they are not normalized now they are in real format however one more problem is there it is in decimals coordinates have to be in integers so what i'm going to do i'm going to write over here dot as type uh, dot as type int okay so once i do that now you see all the coordinates these are all the x coordinates so i'm going to write over here x now i'm going to copy the whole thing paste it in the next line and then i'm going to write y and I'll leave everything. I'll just make it one. And instead of width, now we'll multiply by height. And I'll leave everything else the same. Okay. Now we have got X and Y. Now I have to make a black image so that I can, you know, change the values. So I'm going to say BLK, which is black, NP dot zeros. And what is going to be the shape of this? It's going to be height, comma, width. Okay. So if I'm going to uh, so this is our black image okay it is all zeros of the shape height and width now i'm going to say plk and i'm going to change certain values which values which are there in y comma y and x so whatever y and x is there i'm going to change it to 255 and rest everything will be zeros and i'm going to show you why i'm doing it okay and then finally what i'm going to do i'm going to show this image so i'm going to say plk dot as type u int 8 because obviously this will give us float np dot zeros will be float and now i'm going to print this or hit shift and enter okay so if you are going to see over here what you are going to see you can see the outline over here okay so you got the segmentation over here and now you have got the outline what are these white values these white values are basically your x and y the coordinates the x and the y okay so you have got the white values now one more thing is left fine we have got the segmentation we have got the outline but we haven't still got the class names and that is where i found the bug actually okay and i'm going to sh share it with you so we how to get the labels so we'll go to segment uh, run segment predict and then here the labels fine so if you open doggo.txt which i had done some time back but i'm going to open for you this 7 this 16 this one was our class okay was our label so what i'm going to do i'm going to open this i'm going to say label open i'm going to open this text file okay and then i'm going to read from this text file i'm going to say copy path copy and print the path or paste the path say r dot read lines read uh, my bad read lines okay 
and uh, yeah so i'm going to hit control uh, shift enter so now i want to print label this is basically going to print the content of this now obviously you can see you can see the one over here now i don't want everything so i'll close this over here i want only the first as you can see over here i want only the first number uh, that is number be behind the first space so for getting that what i'm going to do i'm going to write a loop so for i in range and how many were there um let's say label dot length so i think it was a list okay and then going to print let's just print i for a second let's see what happens okay so yeah it was three no problem so what i'm going to do is um basically what you can do is right now there is you go and open the description of the video and find the coco names okay so you can di directly go and copy from there i'm copying right now from my place and you can paste it over here okay it's there in the description don't have to worry it's there in the description you go in the description and finally get it okay so now what i'm going to do we have the label so i'm going to say label dot split because it was text format right if you remember and split it through space i don't have to give it out here it's default so let me just leave it over here and then what i'm going to do i'm taking the first element so um let me show you one more time okay so for example this this is a string okay this is a string this is a complete string if you split it with space obviously you'll get first item as um okay first item as 16 16 okay and the second item you'll get it over here this will be the second item this including the zero this will be the third item so basically split will split it with spaces okay so i'm getting uh, i'm doing the split and i'm taking the first item okay so if you print it you will see what i'm talking about you'll get um list has okay my bad okay fine i have to say i okay i forgot i'm making too many mistakes today okay whatever so now you have seven six and one now obviously we need to go and find the mapping in the uh coco names okay in the coco names we have to go and find the mapping and let's just do that okay so i'm going to say here coco names and then i'm going to basically use this itself i'm not going to do anything i'm going to use this itself over here copy and paste and let's try to print it uh, okay we have to convert it into int fine so i'm going to write it int because this was only numbers it was string 7 was still a string so now we are giving it int we are typecasting it to int now hopefully this should give us the okay so i have corrected it basically what you have to do is uh, delete the whole thing and then write over here delete the whole thing and write coco names open close bracket and copy this entire thing over here okay copy this entire thing copy and then uh -huh copy this and then paste it over here and then hit shift and enter now you can see truck was there bicycle was there but this was dog and it was not cat and this is exactly the problem because it is detecting two other things right but it is saying cat for this i don't know why what it had to say was dog which was one index ahead of this and have actually checked it on my end i do not find any mistake if you find a mistake in my code do let me know it was supposed to give a dog okay and it was not supposed to give a cat so let's say if you, even if you reduce the index by minus one then these two will go out of context okay so that was the problem and uh, yeah so if you if you can go and contact the ultralytics people i'll try to call, contact them but if you can go and contact and even you know send the link of this video if they want it so i hope you understood the video and thank you very much and bye